So uh, tell me how you think today uh, went. Well, it went great. Our uh, contingency plan uh, really worked well. So to move the Parka Yoga indoors, I think was the thing to do with these kinds of extreme weather conditions. Uh, the sharing of all the videos was almost like a, a grieving process as we're uh, letting all those cherished, precious experiences behind us uh, to be able to go over the whole year with the public and get reaction from the public was, uh, I think, the best thing to do. And finally, passing on the fire to Agmini uh, to symbolize the fact that we now pass on the torch to local events to maintain the spirit and the momentum uh, was also a lot of fun. So are you glad it's all over now? It's all over. I feel as if uh, my team and I, with our amazing volunteers, have climbed uh, three, four Mount Everest. Uh, we've surmounted so many challenges, uh, but we can all be so proud of having delivered a, uh, the most unbelievable year, the biggest celebration <laughs> ever in Ottawa history. And I hope that people will still talk about Ottawa 2017 and 25 and maybe 50 years from now when they start planning uh, the bicentennial of Canada. And it's going to be a big question, or a hard question, I should say, but favorite memory of the past year? Well, with no hesitation, La Machine was the ball out of the park. Uh, never had we anticipated such large crowds. Weather conditions were perfect. And we uh, delivered the biggest ever uh, arts and culture production in Ottawa history. And when I said 750,000 spectators, this was a very conservative estimate because we didn't want media to <laughs> challenge our uh, crowd assessments. So that's why we went with a very conservative uh, number. Uh, but we definitely had anywhere between 750 to a million people experiencing uh, this magic of all becoming kids again and being part of this monumental outdoor theatrical production. I'm sure it was great for the city's economic impact as well. Yeah, we just found out from the conference boards last week that Ottawa is number one of all major cities in the country. We're number one in terms of tourism growth in 2017. Uh, people staying in paid accommodation <laughs> Uh, was over by 5.5% ahead of Montreal. So happy that we uh, uh, we surpassed, we won against Montreal. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, visiting friends and relatives, same day uh, excursions. So I'm sure we must have reached uh, the 20% increase we had anticipated. And so what's next for you? I'm done. Now I'm going to be on the other side of the fence, uh, enjoying events, traveling, uh, and becoming the laziest guy in the country as of uh, mid-February, once we will have closed all files, all the budget. Because after almost four years of six days a week, 11 to 14 hour work days, I don't feel guilty in saying, that's it for me, I'm done, hasta la vista.